so Tuesday the 15th of March we just come out for a few hours come over to check on the boat bring the rods over have a fish for a couple of hours so we're about an hour before the top of the tide now we couldn't get over any earlier because of work and stuff in jacket school so uh, we'll give it a few hours and we'll see what happens couldn't have asked for a better night it's absolutely flat car mate hopefully we'll come back to you in a minute with a fish we're just using um I've got, on one of mine I just got squid, on the other one I got squid and mackerel. Um, what have you got on Jack? Uh, mackerel on the one and squid and black on the other. So Jack's going for squid and black on one and he's just got mackerel filler on the other. So hopefully we'll come back to you in a minute with a fish. Is that Colin? That's the So we've been out about half an hour now, this is the first bite we've had. Don't get ready with a net just in case. This one that you just put a fresh bait on. I don't know. Yeah, it was actually, wasn't it? So this is just a squid. Just a squid bait, this one. Just feels a just a heavy weight. No bumping, no nothing. Getting close to the top now. There's my shot leader. Oh, that's a nice size, one, isn't it? Well, that's amazing. That's a blonde ray. That's the first one we've had up here at the MOD. That's why it's big. That's why it's big, yeah. yeah. We'll get you unhooked a minute and we'll, uh, hopefully, we've got scales. I don't think we have, but we'll have a look, see if we've got scales. Um, get a few good photos of it and uh, then we'll release them. Right, let's get a fresh bait site. So we haven't got any scale, so we're just going to have a quick measure in across it and then see if we can get a conversion. So it's yeah, from wing to wing, 26 inches or 60, 66 centimetres. So 66 centimetres across the wings. Thirty-seven inches or 90, 94 centimetres. So we'll see if we can get that on a conversion chart. It does feel heavy. It feels a good sort of 13 pound, I would say. Um, but we'll have a look. We'll have a look on a conversion chart and see if we can uh, see what it weighs. Get another couple of photos and we're getting back in. So that's my first ever blonde up, um, well, this side of the Bristol Channel, on the English side. The first ever one at the MOD. I know they're catching at Clevedon, which is not far up there, but um, right, let's get him back. Oh, he's gone. Excellent. Well, happy with that. Let's try and get another one. So, Jack's got a fish on now. We've just released the uh, ray, and Jack's got a fish. This was up tied in on this one. What was this on this one? Was this a uh, uh, squid and blacks? This is squid and blacks on this one. 
What does it feel like, Jack? That is nothing that nice this can feel like. Yeah. <laughs> I just dropped him out on that, but it's a form back. It is a form back, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, pale thing. Yeah, it is pale, isn't it? <laughs> Very pale. Stop him. There you go. We'll get a, we'll get a picture of it in a minute. There you are, one. Oh, it's got, that could be a cod. This could be a cod. It was a massive drop back bite on this one. Not very big. Probably a dogfish now, I've said that. Oh, God. It's a conga. <laughs> oh, he's let go. So we're just going to give it another probably about 15 minutes. Uh, it's just gone top of the tide now, the boat's starting to turn. So the rods are just going to keep digging in. So we're going to have to probably stay a good half an hour or more before the boat swings right round so it's comfortable fishing again. So the product say give it 10, 15 minutes and then pack up. Um, so, I mean, it was a good, good fish, that um, blonde, a nice surprise. Uh, Jack had the form back and then I had a little conga, not too big, probably only about three pound, it's about three, four pound. But it's worth coming out for literally that hour, hour and a half fishing. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully the next one will probably be a sure one, I'm hoping. Doing a competition the weekend, so I'll see how we go. We might do some filming down there. But, um, We'll come back to you if we catch a fish, if we don't, we'll definitely catch on the next one. Jack uh, pulling the anchor. We just uh, the anchor is tripped, so I'll put another cable tie right now because then obviously if we go in and we have a problem at all and we've got to cut cut the engine or the engine cuts out or whatever, we can put the anchor down safely. And we'll be ready to go. Head straight back on into the MAD now, which is just over there. 